the tomatoes, you're, you're, you're doing everything, and you're, you're, you're preparing for, for the church to serve, so that everybody can have a great time to provide for, 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 their, for their needs. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, with a voice of uh, uh, familiarity and the voice of gentleness, with tact and foresight, Martha, Martha, you, are, you have been so worried and troubled by many things, about many things. One thing is needed, Martha. One thing is needed. And Mary had chosen that good part. Mary had chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. You might be asking the question, what was that good part? Let me just unpack our preaching passage for today. Dearly beloved, here we go. Unpacking the story of Martha and Mary. In the Pen of Inspiration, Desire of Ages, page 525, the Pen of Ellen G. White wrote there, Martha was so anxious to provide for the needs of her guest. In her anxiety, in her word state, she forgot the courtesy due to her guest. Dearly beloved, if we can apply this, if we would like to be relevant in our time today, as a loving community, let me say this, we may have been, we probably, are, some of us, maybe, I can, I can resonate with this, sometimes in Martha, I'm so, I'm so uh, uh, choleric, and I would like to finish something, that sometimes we forget that when there are guests among us, that this is our place, that this is our home church, that there are guests who are coming here, that we forgot, that we forget to extend due courtesy to these people. You might be saying, yeah, but this is our house. This is our house church. But then again, friends, we would like, we would like to fellowship with those people who are coming in to our place. And in fact, Mary chose, had chosen the good part because she wanted to hear the words of Jesus falling from the Savior's lips about the, the certain future that will come. And the graces that is necessary for spiritual advancement. Dearly beloved, there are three things that I would like to suggest to you today. That we can choose that good part that Mary had chosen. First one is this. Mary, just before she sat at the feet of Jesus' feet. And just before she heard the words of Jesus. She let go of her worldly cares. Dearly beloved, if you are serving... If you are so enthusiastic, if you forget to be sanctified by the grace of Jesus, then your service will be filled with trouble, anxiety, frustration, and that you will be angry. And that's the time when people who are coming to our church, they will be turned off. Dearly beloved, if we are serving, let us hear first the grace that Jesus was telling us. Love one another. Forgive one another. Be considerate. To one another. And this is the lesson that, that this scripture would like us to be, would like us to hear this morning, would like us to apply in our lives, friends. You may be serving, you may be busy today, but if the grace of Jesus Christ is not in you, it will show by your actions you will not be kind enough to say the right words. You will complain, you will say something. That you thought may not hurt somebody, but he had hurt somebody. And you just don't, you justify your, your, your question, and you will just say, just like that guy, who is my neighbor, by the way. But the question that Jesus would like you to ask today yourself, am I, am I a good neighbor? I read about this story just, just a few days ago from the newspaper. It tells about a story from Montrose, Colorado. And uh, his name was John Hunt. He was 61 years old. He was semi-retired. And he was, uh, he was an avid lugger in the out country of somewhere near in Denver. And this is a true story. And I read this. And while, she wa while he was uh, trying to get some firewood for, for probably for winter, the, the sixth ton. You know, it's a sixth ton, right? You hear me, all right? Are you with me? God is good. Amen. All the time. Six ton, probably in his trailer, rolled all of a sudden and pinned his right.
right foot. Or just imagine a six foot ton, a six ton I mean, trailer. Oh, it was excruciating, pain, uh, it was painfully ex excruciating. And the news, the news uh, reporter mentioned that he was, don't follow this, he, when he was in pain, he, he spoke a lot of, uh, of bad words. You know, when you're in pain, you forget yourself, you speak uh, bad words. You get, you, are we, are we, are, do we, do we resonate, do I resonate? If you're in pain, you, you say profanities and you don't know, you, you, all the names there, it's all bad names, right? 